Good morning, I'm Mark, G1DX, and I thought today might be uh, useful for a few folks who have uh, own the latest Yesu FTDX101D or the MP. Uh, this might help you with the TX audio because some, some folk are experiencing muffled modulation. So get straight into it, it's really easy to sort out and we'll get you on air and you'll sound super, super punchy and clear. There's two ways, or three ways, you can sort it out. The quick way is use some Heil Pro 7s. And I'm not saying you should have to buy them, but Dr. Heil did his uh, homework. You can plug those straight into the 101 and they sound amazing. You don't need to do any equalizations. It's just done. Or you can get yourself an MD100 um, because on the MD100 at the base of it, you've got some um, uh, compensators and equalizers for the microphone. You've got high emphasis and bass cut, which you can use also to make the, the modulation a bit crisper. But you actually don't need any of those two. You can make the supplied microphone sound really good. Uh, but yes, it does need a bit of a uh, bit of equalization, and I'm just going to show you how to do that now. So let's jump straight into it. First thing to do is on the uh, screen, make sure that your mic equalizer button is on with the red. So if I press that again, when I go back, you see it's off. Make sure that the mic equalizer button is on. Next thing we need to do is um, we need to go into radio setting and we need to set our we, you, if you if it's up here just show you you need to scroll down and set uh, set the tx band pass i'm using 200 to 2800 2.8 kilohertz set your tx band select um, that's what i'm using Next thing we need to do is to go into operation setting. Um, just check. We need to, at the top, I'm just going to scroll back up to the top. Make sure that the, the comp button is selected. The default is AMC. So select comp for compressor. Make sure that the compressor button is selected. And then We'll, we'll scroll down through the microphone equalization. Now, the first row is equalization without the compressor on. But I like to use compression when I'm transmitting, as I think most people do on SSB. So scroll down, scroll down to where it starts with P parametric. Um, P in front of it means with the processing on. So this is how I have selected it. Now, if you want to experiment with this, by all means do, turn the power down and maybe try TX into a dummy load with some headphones, selecting the monitor key, because what you hear through the headphones when you're transmitting uh, with the monitor key selected is actually a very good representation of what you sound like on air. So, these are the settings that I use and I've had consistently good, uh, excellent reports on my um, transmit audio quality. So on the P parametric one frequency, 400 hertz. Uh, let's do it with a pen. P parametric um, eq level, minus 10. Equal with bandwidth, two. And we go down. So that's for the one, so that to, to recap, the equalizer one, 400 hertz, minus 10, two. We do the two level next. For two, 1.4 kilohertz, seven and zero. So the parametric level two, 1.4 kilohertz, seven and zero. And for the three setting, 2.6 kilohertz, 10 and 0. You'll notice that all these numbers are in white, which means 
that they are not the default settings. Uh, when they're in the default, they will go um, yellow. So, for instance, if I, put, if I turn this one till it goes, there you go. Uh, one, I'll, turn, I'll take that off. Um, so one, one there is now yellow, um, meaning it's default, but I've taken it off the default. And it's gone white. So you can see that very few of those parametric settings for the processor are default. And I came to these settings by putting on some headphones. But by all means, do experiment. Start off on the low, mids and highs. And you'll find that sometimes the bandwidth is slightly counterintuitive. You can actually get more effect by reducing the bandwidth, which maybe makes sense to a lot of long-term Yaesu users. But that's how you get the microphone sounding uh, good. And the other area we need to ensure now before we start operating is to go over to the, um, the mic and processor button switch. Make sure you've clicked this in so the processor light is lit. And I have used, if we go back to the, so using the inner, the inner and the outer, I have used processor level 70 and mic gain of 35. As you can see here, mic gain of 35 and processor of 70. But of course, a lot of this is on how you, um, how you speak and your volume of your voice, etc., etc. So coming back, I hope that's been of some uh, help to you. Um, that will get you on air and sounding nice and crisp. Um, and this microphone really does work very well. Uh, but yes, the default settings do need uh, some adjustment. And that's it. So Mark G1DX, hope you have a good weekend and enjoy your radio. Thank you.